Hello, Pagan Peeps. We are here with the fabulous TCPP organization and Lori Froberg, who does the marketing and social media for it. They are one of our platinum sponsors and very close to my heart. So thank you so much for joining us, Lori. How you doing? It was my pleasure to join you today. I'm super excited about your event. And yes, it's a Tuesday. What can I say? <laughs> it's, <Exactly. another> day. <laughs> it's, it's a Tuesday. So um, can you tell us a little bit about TCPP? What does it stand for? What does it do? Why is it so important to the community? Twin City Pagan Pride is a nonprofit organization. We are community focused and education focused. Um, we developed in 1998 as a call from Pagan Pride International to uh, bring the message of what paganism is to the greater community to so we're not just the boogeyman that everybody thinks that we are. So anyway, it's really about education. Um, since the, and we've been doing Pagan Pride events every single year. And then uh, 2011, we morphed into a two event organization doing Twin City Pagan Pride Fall Festival, which just happened. Um, this about a week and a half ago and it was met with great success we had lots of uh, vendors lots of attendees and everybody had a great time and we're looking forward to our next event coming up uh which is Paganicon coming up in march 17th through the 19th the the difference between the two festivals is one is more of we're introducing ourselves out to the greater world and just kind of say hey here we are we're pagans this is what we do you know and for somebody who's just learned about paganism it's very ideal to come out and meet the community but paganicon is more focused for pagan specifically mm -hmm. it's where we get into the deep discussions where we really get into the networking and we we become part of one huge community mm -hmm. so um but yes and we do have a, web, a website, a website twincitypaganpride.org tcpaganpride.org i should say um if anybody wants to go to our website and we are right now accepting um, anyone who wants to get involved we are accepting art submissions vendor submissions and submissions for programming if you want to do a workshop rituals or or panel discussions that kind of thing so it's awesome and that's for uh paganicon which is in march right oh, fabulous and actually paganicon i think i think i've told you this Lori, that when i was a baby when i was a little baby pagan paganicon <laughs> was my very first step into the community ever and yes. i was a scared little bunny and now like it's it's a huge part of my life obviously and being in the pagan community is fabulous and i love it and it's it's so much fun so with with everything that you guys do, you will have as platinum sponsors at the Sound Symposium on October yes. 29th, you will have a vendor booth. What is offered at the TCPP vendor booth? What what can we expect? What awesomeness is there? Well, you're going to learn about our organization, obviously, and our upcoming events and who's going to be there and all that great stuff. We're putting together a fun activity. It's going to be super fun. <laughs> And I can't really disclose information and I'm sorry because I haven't gotten approval for it yet. Let's just say that if I can go through with it and get the approval for it, we're going to be able to hand out prizes. So it's going to see a, it's going to be a come up and test your knowledge about, um, test your knowledge. Let's just say, let's say, just say test your knowledge kind of a thing. <laughs> so it seems like you have to come to the TCPP booth at the event to see what awesomeness they have. So make sure yes. that you stop by at the event. It'll be fun. Because I mean, every time that they have a booth, it is always so much fun and everyone is yes. so nice. So you have to come up and say hi anyway. So exactly. We're, we're a friendly crowd. <laughs> <laughs> we love to meet people. I mean, that's part, that's part of why we do things like the Samhain Symposium mm -hmm. and super excited about it. You know, it, it helps connect the community, bring the community together. And we want to be a part of that. So be out there and just help, uh, help the community grow into a healthy bonding community. It's a great binding moment, but binding moment for us with the community. So definitely, definitely. 
So with what you're offering, why why did TCPP, and I want to be clear, TCPP and their events are amazing and huge. They grow every year and it is yep. fabulous. They are one of the biggest, if not the biggest pagan event and community in like the Midwest. People yes. travel the country to come to TCPP events. So I, I love them dearly. So when little old me, because I am I am not TCPP, I'm not that big people. I, I got big one people. day, one day, Lily. <laughs> one day I'll be you. But so it, it's just little old me. It's Lily of the Light, you know, company doing this. What made such an amazingly reputable pagan organization want to be a sponsor at the Samhain Symposium? Well, look who's running this. My gosh. <laughs> 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 I've had the pleasure of knowing Lily for a very, very long time. And she's an amazing person. They are an amazing person. And if you do not know Lily, you need to get to know Lily. Um, <laughs> so when you said you were going to be doing an event, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to be a part of this. <laughs> Just because we know you, we know how dedicated you are and the the attention to detail and how, um, how, and how much energy and of yourself you put into an event. That's, that's what made us want to do it. Number one. Number two, as I said before, wanting to connect with the community. We're always looking for opportunities for, to, to connect to the community. We just did, um, besides our Pagan Pride event last about a week and a half ago, we were also part of the Twin City Pride event back in June. Um, and we used to do the Heart of the Beast before the COVID period here um, on a regular basis and, and other parade organizations. So we're always looking for opportunities to be a part of the community. So that is fabulous. And it's it's so much fun to to be a part of TCPP and to have them be a part of right. this event and I I am dedicated to my community they they oh my god the board knows this I collected toilet paper rolls <laughs> for a kids craft I am I am dedicated to my yes. community um but I mean and that's that's the whole point of the events that that we all do and we all give our heart and soul and <laughs> blood sweat and tears to is it, it's the community <laughs> exactly and we we do it because not just for the love of the events and the community but it 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 really connects us with people in a way that's that you just don't get otherwise you know i have met some fabulous people since volunteering through uh, twin city pagan pride speaking of volunteering <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes there are volunteer opportunities at tcc yes. <laughs> And not to, okay, so as some of you may or may not know, I'm actually on the board of TCPP as the volunteer chair. So if you ever want to volunteer for that, volunteers at tcpaganpride.org is perfectly fine. You message me and you will be talking to me. And, and don't you worry, we give back to the community. You, you come on over, come on over. <laughs> you will get, that's, everybody asks me, well, how do I get into the community? How do I get to meet more people? I'm telling you, volunteer really become involved in the community you want to be meet the community go out there via volunteer whatever organization whether it's twin city pagan pride whether it's what we're doing at the Samhain symposium whatever get involved in the community yeah. that is how you become part of it and meet people and it's the most painless way to do it that's how yes. i started with uh the pagan community my first yes. year i volunteered at the art show and never looked back. So come hang out at the Sound Symposium, get to know them and the opportunities at TCPP. So my next question is with uh, the diversity of the Sound Symposium right. October 29th at the Crown Plaza in Plymouth, what, what are you or TCPP, like the organization looking forward to most? What's it like? Yeah. What's getting you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is the diversity. I mean, that's one of the things I think that we as an organization pride ourselves on is that we are very inclusive, regardless of your, your race, your gender, your class, your um, anything. Mm -hmm. We, we, un we feel 
that diversity just makes us more richer of an organization yes. than if if we were not inclusive at all. Um, and, and we look at, and that's the other thing is that when we do look at events, we do look at, well, okay, well, how inclusive are they? Do they mm -hmm. share the common um, desire for diversity and, and acceptance, you know, with everyone that wants to be involved, you know, do they have that common goal? And if, and, and I know you, you, of course, know <laughs> you. that was an easy yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. People ask like, what do you do? I'm like, I will claw my way up to the table and then elbow other people out of the way and be like, everyone deserves a seat. It's yeah. fantastic. I, I love diversity and that's why I wanted the sound symposium to happen mm -hmm. is because um, representation matters and it does. I've gone to other events just like you and been like, Oh, these are not my people. Yes. And go to events like Paganicon, like the sound symposium. And it's like, there's real diversity here with there is. real accommodations. For me, it's yes. important with disabilities. Um, I have, uh, not, not to out Lori, but I have seen her walk with a walker yeah. where there is no accessibility <laughs> and that does not fly with either of us. Thank you very much. <laughs> like we, we want everyone to be able to be able to come yes. to events and, yes. and that's, it's important to us, you know? And so we, we pride ourselves, both Lily of the Light and TCPP on being inclusive and diverse and very loving in a safe place and do not get us wrong we be bitches if you want to mess with our diversity if you want to bring some hate in lori will nice ask you to leave i will kick you out so we've we, we've had to go there a couple times haven't we lily yes yes so make no mistake we are all love and light and we take no shit it's, it's fabulous so lori with tcpp and Paganicon and all the fabulousness that you do thank you so much for being a platinum sponsor oh giving the most to this event and the diversity that it represents. Everyone come check out the sound symposium on October 29th at the crown Plaza in Plymouth, Minnesota. Yes. It's going to be fun and fabulous. And TCPP will be there with a surprise at their booth that you only get to see if you come and yes. give them your time and attention and love, and it will be fabulous. So Thank you so much, Lori. We and are so looking forward to this event. We can't wait. We're just counting the days. So. It'll be fabulous. It'll be fabulous. All right, everyone, go forth, be amazing, and don't forget to be a spiritual badass. Bye.